All right, question number nine. Solving looks kind of intimidating at first, but uh, hopefully you realize that this a squared minus 36 is really just a plus 6 times a minus 6. Okay, and once you realize that, then you can say, oh, I almost have a common denominator. All I need to do is take this middle one times a plus 6, and then this one on the side here, on the right-hand side, times a minus 6 on top and bottom. All right, so this one's going to get an a plus 6 up here, too. And so that's kind of a giant mess here. I'll clean it up. Okay, so now all of them should have a denominator that is a plus 6 times a minus 6. All right, and just to save a little bit of writing, because let's be honest, I'm lazy. I'm going to write the denominators as a squared minus 36. Right, because a plus 6 times a minus 6 is a squared minus 36. Okay, and then the numerators, uh, this first fraction we didn't multiply by anything, so the numerator is the same. Top here, I'm just going to distribute the 2, 2a plus 12, and then the other one, just take it times 1, so that would just be a minus 6. All right, and now kind of the magic step where you want to wipe them all out by multiplying by whatever the denominator is. All right, and then that goes boom. These are all divides, right? These fraction bars are going to divide, so they're all gone now. Even us with a plus 2a plus 12 equals a minus 6. And that looks much less intimidating. If 3a plus 12 equals a minus 6, combine like terms, minus an a from both sides, minus 12 from both sides, and then divide by 2. Okay. And then. Draw a smiley face because I'm not intimidated by that question anymore. Answer is negative 9. All right, hopefully that helps.